I'm Kevin Cameron. Um, thinking already about lunch, even though it's early. And what I want to talk about right now is how the up and down motion of the pistons in their cylinder bores is translated into the rotation of the crankshaft. Now here is a piston. The wrist pin connects the piston to the connecting rod. The connecting rod is assembled on the crankshaft in two halves. It is split and bolted. It has these alignment pins which go into these holes. Now, the main bearings, which are these five, simply revolve around their own axes. The crank pins are offset and they describe circles of their own. To attach this to the crankshaft, we would add some pre-lube because plane bearing engines, everything has to be pre-lubed to make up for the several seconds it takes for the oil pump to send fresh oil around to every place that it's needed. So this would go onto the crank pin. The connecting rod cap would be slid into place and connecting rod cap bolts would be installed. These bolts are responsible for making sure that the piston obeys orders at top dead center. It doesn't keep going and smash all the valves flat. Instead, it is obediently dragged by the crankshaft down on its either its suction or its power stroke. So these bolts have to be remarkably strong. The metallurgy in connecting rod bolts is usually of the best. Once the bolts are in place and they've been torqued to the correct preload, when the crankshaft revolves, the piston rises and falls. So the straight line motion of the piston up and down in the cylinder bore is by means of the wrist pin, a hinge point, and the connecting rod transformed into rotary motion at the crankshaft. Now, to anyone who's ever worked with gas turbines or jet engines, this just seems hopelessly medieval. The idea of pumping air with pistons. But gas turbines have been tried in automobiles, buses, and trucks, and where are they now? The advantage of piston engines is that their speed is easily controlled and also their load. So until the fabled electric revolution is upon us, we're stuck with back and forth motion of pistons translated into rotary motion at the crankshaft by means of the hinge connecting rod.